What's going on guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Well, it is 100 degrees outside today. The hottest day of the entire summer so far. And I wanted to just do a quick checkup on the mining farm, see how everything's running. Are we having any temp issues in the new cooling setup? And give you an idea of some of the stuff I've been working on. I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been pretty busy on some other projects. So let's take a look. Want to buy a new ASIC miner but not sure which one to purchase? Check out today's sponsor, ASICprices.com. Their website offers an intuitive way to research before your ASIC purchase. You can sort by ROI if that's your thing or daily profit. Don't forget to set your electric rate to make sure the results are accurate. Interested in only CASPA ASICs? Switch the algorithm drop down and sort by CASPA only. See one you want? Select it and view a variety of useful information before your purchase. Historical revenue, historical price data. You can even break it down to price per hash for each specific vendor. Though I don't have any ASICs yet, I've been closely watching ASICprices.com to find the perfect buying opportunity. Special thanks to ASIC Prices for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link down below. So like I mentioned, I've been pretty busy on some other projects. So let me show you what I've been working on. It's not necessarily mining related, but I have been refinishing these stairs and I'll put a picture up on screen of what they looked like before. They were just gross carpet and I ended up putting wooden treads on and white risers and refinished these. And basically they look way, way better, but it honestly ended up being a ton of work. So this has been absorbing a lot of my time lately. <laughs> and I think it looks pretty good. Let me know your guys' thoughts. The wood kind of matches, but tried to get it as close as possible. So like I said, it is 100 degrees today, and you could see that the temperature and the intake of the mining enclosure was 97 degrees, and then inside the enclosure itself was 98.8. So it hasn't actually reached 100 in there. But as far as the GPUs, they are actually performing extremely well in that setup, that even though it's 100 degrees, the cards themselves are still running at the minimum fan speed that I have set in Hive OS. I've got the minimum fan speed at 45% and every single card is running at 45% fan and their max temp is 60 degrees. So even though it's so hot, all the cold air, or if you can call 100 degree air cold, but all the fresh air is getting pulled immediately through these cards and therefore I'm having no temp issues. So you can see again, 97 there. And if we can get it to focus, 98.8 inside the enclosure. That's only a one, it's only a two degree difference between the two. It normally hovers around five degrees, but I guess when it gets this hot, it's just, there's not gonna be that much of a delta. I'm curious what temp the KS zeros are running at since this is the hottest they've ever experienced and I don't have these fans maxed, they're at like three fourths. So in a bit, we'll hop on the computer and take a look at what those temperatures are looking like and make sure that everything is okay there. This rig is turned off again. I keep going back and forth, turning that rig on and off. I'm sitting around 2,800 watts right now, 2,750. I keep going back and forth on turning this off and on. Um, the reason is Zealous dropped in price again and the mining difficulty for Zealous is extremely high all of a sudden. It's been gradually going up ever since Zealous was listed on the CoinEx exchange. And that means unfortunately mining profits are back to being barely profitable for GPUs if, if they're even profitable at all at your power cost. And therefore, that 30 cent Hive OS fee for three rigs is eating into my profits again. And I'm down to only five cards on that rig. So when you calculate in the wattage of the motherboard, it really just doesn't make sense to run those. And the last reason, because I know a lot of people will say, well, you might as well just mine for yield. And when Zealous Coin price goes up, you're going to wish you were mining that whole time. Well, in the summer, especially July and August, 
is when my power bill gets crazy high. So I just got my power bill for, I guess it was July and the first half of August, and it was $750. But that's not actually as bad as it sounds because when they took my power reading in June, I guess, I might have these months wrong, but when they took the prior month's power bill, every other month they do an estimate and they don't actually come check the meter and they always estimate me at like $150, which is what like a normal house would use. But obviously I'm pulling $300 worth of power just for my mining stuff. And then there's the additional probably 130 bucks for just AC in my house and the normal stuff that I run in my house. So right around 400, 450 bucks a month. But when they estimate 150, basically that extra 250 carries over to the next month. And that's how I get a $750 power bill, which I, I understand that it's split between two months, but paying 750 bucks out of pocket for power hurts a little bit and makes you kind of question is all this really worth it? Especially with all the bad stuff that's been happening with honestly not just GPU mining, but home ASICs as well, where hash rates are climbing on all these coins. Miners are quickly becoming unprofitable. They just dropped the price of these KS0 Ultras from 240 to 120, which hurts as well, because I just bought two of them at the 240. So in general, there's been just a lot of bad things happening in mining, and then getting that $750 power bill on top of that just kind of compounds that. So. To be honest, I haven't bit, had a lot of motivation to make these videos because of how bad things have gotten, but I still enjoy the community and especially your guys' support, so I'm going to keep trying to get videos out there, especially with the thought that things will get better in 2025 when the bull run eventually happens. A lot of these bags have already built and coins like Elysium should start skyrocketing, at least we hope. You're probably wondering what this is right here, and sorry about the mess, that's all from the stair project. This is a new six card 3060 Ti rig that I built for a customer, and this will be going to the customer sometime in the next month. I had it running, testing, making sure it was stable, and I ended up turning that off as well. So this rig was for a customer. If you guys are in the Kentucky area or are willing to make the drive, I do offer rig building services. You can send me an email down below and basically provide your budget and I will give you a quote on what kind of rig you can afford. So one GPU rig, six GPU rig, 12 GPU rig. If you all remember a few months back, I actually did an 80 GPU rig build, which ended up being 11 rigs. So that's what this is. It's not for me, um, but it is going to clients and I will probably have a build video on this coming out uh, in the next few months. So let's fire up the old wall PC and check out the temperatures in Hive OS and also the temperatures of those KS zeros. I wanna make sure that those aren't uh, burning up from the overclock. All right, so taking a look at the first KS zero ultra, 650 giga hash, not bad. And let's check the temps. 80C and 50C. So that 80C is pretty high. And then the other one is at 621 giga hash and is at 85C and 51C. So let me know down below, some of you other KS0 guys, what temp is too hot on these? 85 seems like that's getting pretty hot. So what I'll likely do in a minute is crank those fans up to the max, um, at least till it gets a little colder and just to be safe. So let's also look in Hive OS here. You can see I've got my two rigs running, 12 cards each. And you can see every single card besides a few are sitting basically under 50% fan speed and right around the 60 degree temps. So that's where this exhaust system is just totally kicking ass. It's 100 degrees outside and my cards are not struggling at all. I was really worried about how hot it was gonna be this summer and if I was gonna be able to handle it. And based on this, I mean, no issues at all. Some of these cards are sitting at 50 degrees C, 49 degrees C at 45% fan speed. One of these is at 60 it looks like, but still, all in the blue, just hashing away at Zealous. 
and they switch to Zilliqa once every hour. So I'm just reaching back through the rigs and gonna crank those up to max. You can hear the fans got a little louder, but we'll give that maybe a second and see if that decreases the temperatures at all. All right, so it hasn't even been two minutes, but one of them already dropped down to 78 and the other one down to 82, so not bad. But definitely let me know down below what you all consider too hot. I'm somewhat new to the ASIC game, so curious to see what you guys think about that. All right, well, that's a quick one. I'm sweating down here, so I'm gonna get back inside of the AC, but let me know, guys, are you still mining? Do you have hopes for home mining? It really seems like home ASICs and GPU mining is just in a rough, rough place right now. Hopefully it's kind of the bottom before we see some coin appreciation that might save profitability a little bit soon. But I'll see you guys next time. Check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching Modern Mining. Peace.